All right, welcome back. Here's a little bonus for that paper airplane flying video world you guys just made. Uh, I'm just going to watch the original again here. If you watch the plane from the camera view, you'll see that it follows the curve, but there's something sort of stiff about it, right? It doesn't rotate. It doesn't bank. It doesn't really turn. It just follows the line. There's something not so natural about that. I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can, give this a little bit more life to make it not look so computer animated and uh, rigid. So here we go. I'm going to actually do this right through the camera view. So I'm not going to use this view. I'm going to look at what my camera's seen by hitting zero on the number pad. And I'm just going to advance here I'm on frame zero. Or sorry, right now I'm on frame one. You can just rewind. And I'm going to show you how to add keyframes for the plane in a slightly different way. So here we go. I right click on the plane, just like you can right click even though I'm in camera view. And what I want to do is put a keyframe for the plane just for its rotation only. Okay, that's it. I know the position's being handled by the path, so I don't want to mess around with that. So here we go. Adding rotation for the plane. Now, you're going to also notice something here. Global, local. Notice how these lines change. Global is basically the X, Y, Z of the world. Okay, the X, the Y, and the Z lines. As my plane progresses through, watch this, if I want to make the plane turn right now, sort of bank left and right, and rotate, if I have this on global, well, look at the green. It's not in line with the plane. Neither is the red or the blue axis. This is harder. But when I switch to local axis, it gives me the axis based on the object, the local object, which is the plane. So notice, oh, beautiful. Now, if I rotate around the x-axis, the red one, the plane's going to be able to bank left and right perfectly. So you're going to notice that instead of being in global, I'm going to switch this to local for this entire procedure. Okay, so now let's go back to frame one, go back to the camera view, and let's give this a go. I need to put a keyframe here. I've shown you before how to put keyframes using this, but here's an even faster way. You just hit I on the keyboard. So I got the plane selected, I hit I. It asks me, insert keyframe what type? Well, I just want rotation, so select rotation. Notice I have a little yellow line there. Okay, it put the keyframe just for rotation. Beautiful. Let's advance in time a bit. So I'm going to advance right around here. And I'm going to go I, rotation. Make sure this entire time that you have the plane selected or you're going to be keyframing some other object's uh, properties. Now here comes the plane starting to turn. Now I know when it's about here, it's starting to make a right turn. Well, a normal plane should be banked to the left a little bit. What I'm going to do is I want to rotate around the X. So let's do it. Rotate X. Now it's highlighted that X, right? You see what's going on there? It's highlighted the X direction, but that's actually the X of the world, not local. So here's a trick. You have to hit X a second time. So I hit it one more time. And then it switches to local. And I can bank the plane. Okay, so remember this trick here. I'm there. I'd like the plane to bank. So I hit R for rotate. X, that's the world global X axis. I hit X one more time. X. Now I got the local axis of the plane. Okay, so I make it bank a bit. And now I hit I. I rotation. Let's advance in time a bit. It's getting up here. I'd like it to bank even more by the time it's right here. So rotate X. That's the world X. Hit X one more time. X. That's the local. One more time. Click. And I for a keyframe. And rotation. Now let's advance time some more. And maybe near the end. I can do one more keyframe, rotate, X, X. Maybe it starts to flatten out a bit. 
and keyframe I rotation let's see the results here I think you'll notice it does look a little bit more fluid like a plane would fly let's hit play there's the banking it start oh that was a hard bank so I may go back and fix that one the rest looks sort of okay and then it's straightening out there yeah that was a fast one woof a little too much so what I can do is I can go back in time let's go right here and let's do a little halfway rotate XX I'll start it off a little bit and let's keyframe it I rotation now let's test it out and this is gonna require a little bit of work and fiddling right Ooh, still a lot let's see what's going on with my keyframes so it's rotating it seems to be straightening out that's my problem right there that keyframe is a little messed up what I can do with that keyframe is I can just delete it or actually you know what I'll do instead of deleting it let's rotate XX keyframe it I rotation okay let's see I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going not bad not bad so you'll encounter the same trouble right let's hit play now not bad a little bit of a jump there where I messed up but uh, you'll get the hang of it give it a go so that's a little extra bonus there with controlling the rotation on top of the path following have fun with that if you decide to add that one in.